All right, this is going to lay the foundation for absolutely positively everything we do in calculus. You cannot have anything in calculus without having a difference quotient because we're gonna define our limits based on the difference quotient. We're gonna define our derivatives on it. We're gonna define everything on this difference quotient, okay? So the formula for the difference quotient, let's just write it here. Now, there's several different versions. Your book is gonna use F of X plus H minus F of H or F of X, I'm sorry, all over H. All right, when H does not equal zero. All right, now, like I said, there's all different types of versions, okay? Your particular free calc book uses this one, okay? When we come in and calculus next year, we're gonna use a little more fancy one that has a little more notation in there that you're gonna see in calculus. But for the most part, we're gonna learn this one this year, okay? So this formula, I'm gonna make you memorize, okay? Called the difference quotient. Now, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have a question and I may even need to go to a new piece of paper. I'm gonna go to a new piece of paper because this is gonna be a long problem. Okay, all right, one wants going twice. Okay, all right, so you're gonna see questions. They're gonna say, let f of x equal two x squared plus three X minus four, all right? So we're gonna let the F function be this, and then it's going to say, evaluate the difference quotient. And I'm just gonna abbreviate, evaluate the difference quotient, okay? Now, you have to know what the difference quotient is because they're not gonna give it to you. I'm gonna write it over here, F of X plus H minus F of X all over H. Okay. Now that's the standard form formula for the difference quotient. Now, the one thing I'm going to do to help you out here, all right, this is minus f of x. That means if I plug something in for f of x, which I'm going to, all right, and if I happen to have three terms or two terms or more than one term, all right, it follows that minus sign, which means I've got to distribute a negative. All right. So what comes in very, very handy is if you put a square brackets around that, all right, then that helps you to not drop a negative. All right, now, all this is, is evaluating this based on this function. So this is my rule, this is what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna do it to this function, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and do this in orange here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, all right, I'm gonna start reading this. This says to take X plus H and put it into F. All right, I have two locations in F where I have to put it. Okay, so I'm gonna do just this first half right here. So I'm gonna go two, I'm gonna replace that X with an X plus H squared. All right, then I'm gonna finish the function. I'm gonna do three, I'm gonna replace that X with the X plus H. And then I'm gonna do the minus four. All right, so all of that was just this part of the formula. Now, the next thing in the formula is a minus sign. So I'm gonna do a minus sign. All right, and then I like the square brackets, so I'm gonna put the square brackets there. Now I'm gonna do what this says. This says to take X and put it in the function, or in other words, if I just read that as F of X, well, this is F of X, all right? So I have to write down this whole thing right here. So two X squared plus three X minus four, okay? And then we're gonna close those brackets on top. All right, and then it's all over H. All right, now I am going to make you do the over H, over H, over H in every algebra step. You may not just simplify this numerator and then at the very end of the problem, throw in an over H. All right, that doesn't justify your steps. Okay, so now from here, all right, from here down is strictly algebra two. All right, using that formula, having it memorized, coming up with this, and then from here down, is just good old fashioned algebra two. FOIL has to be done first, all right? FOIL has to be done first and then multiply by two, okay? So I'm gonna FOIL first. So I'm gonna go X squared plus, again, we're doing this in our head, all right? Two XH plus H squared. So I FOILed first, all right? I'm gonna distribute the three 
plus 3x plus 3h minus 4. Now I'm going to go through and I'm going to change every one of those signs because it was minus everything to the right. So minus 2x squared minus 3x plus 4 and then all over h. Okay, I'm going to do one more. I got to distribute the 2 now, right? So I'm going to have a 2x squared. I'm going to have a 4xh. I'm going to have a 2h squared. All right, and then it's just to write everything else down. Plus 3h minus 4 minus 2x squared minus 3x plus 4 all over h. All right, now at this point, if you have done everything correctly and you haven't screwed up, a lot of things should cross out. All right, I have a negative 2x squared and a positive 2x squared, so they should disappear. All right, I've got a minus 3x and a plus 3x. So there's two more that have disappeared. Let's see, a plus 4 and a minus 4 crosses out. And then I think that's all that I've got crossing out. All right, now what do I have left? I have a 4xh and a plus 2h squared and a plus 3h and then all over an h. Okay, now what do I have here? I need to factor out an h. There's no reason to factor out anything else because the only thing I have in the denominator is an h. So the only thing that's going to cross out would be an h. So I'm going to take out the greatest common factor, which is going to be an h. So let's come down here. So factor out an h, that's going to leave me with a 4x. That's going to leave me with a 2h and a 3. All right, now I can legally say this h and this h crosses off. And I get down to a 4x plus a 2h plus a 3. OK, so um, I'm going to be very, very picky about the way you do your algebra steps. You got to show all your algebra steps. You got to put it over H every time. When you get from here, you've got to factor out because I want you legally crossing out the H's. So we're not just going to cross out, cross out, cross out, and cross out. All right. You're going to legally factor it out so that it's staying in front, and then you're going to cross it out down here. Okay.